Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death, but be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ, a personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded. And spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you, you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well. Look into it so the next time we talk is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, to God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwell is no good thing. So listen, think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, 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 of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Bye. <laughs>
in our life. Now we can have that life and peace. Romans 8, 6, for to be carnally minded is death. For to be spiritually minded is life and peace because I'm going based on his promise. I'm going based on his word. My identity is based on him, not on me, and especially not on other people. Man, when, when you grab that, Woo! that that's something. When yeah. you, you, you have that understanding Woo! that your, your life is in God's hands. Come on now. Come on. And you believe that God is. You know, then, then fear is your only attack. That can be your only attack. That's the only attack. And, and, and if you understand that, you know, that fear is only based on this physical life, then you, you have an eternal life. Yes. You know, if you understand that this is just temporary anyway. Everybody, everybody born in this physical body. Come on. <laughs> is, is, has a has a shelf life. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and, and some some shelf life are, are, are shorter than others. Uh -huh. they're, they're, uh, they're, when, when you understand about shelf life, you understand that a, uh, an item is is made. And then it's put, there's, there's plenty of items of that item, and they're put on shelves until they're used. You yes. know, yes, sir. <laughs> they have a, a, an appointed time of existence until they're worn out. And Come on. They need, replacement, they need replacement parts and such and so. Well, there are some parts that are defective before they're even put on the shelf. Yes, and sir. I like to talk to those, those, those children. Who are are who don't make it into this realm? They may be aborted. They may die during, you know, birth or so. So those <laughs> those are the items that don't even, you know, they're they're like I hate to use that term, like a factory reject won't make it to the shelf. You know, a, a product that doesn't meet the qualifications doesn't make it to that shelf. Now, don't think that I'm saying that that's what's happening to these children. Nope. I'm just using as an analogy to a uh, shelf life. And so then you have those who are, you know, they may have passed the examination for what's outside of the box and they're put uh -huh. on the shelf. But yes, as sir. soon as they're put into operation, there's some internal parts that are jacked up. Yeah. So that thing shelf life is over with. It's that are made according to the manufacturer's specifications. Woo! Woo! Come on, come on. And they exist for the entire shelf life, which yes, is sir. the lifespan of a human. Woo! And then there's those that are are made to exist for the lifespan span of a human, but they're subject to harsh situations. They are. Exactly. Would cause them to break, though they are made perfect. So yes, that shelf life has been cut short, not yes. by any fault of the part, <laughs> it's just <laughs> the circumstances that it's put in. Yes, sir. So, but that you, you need to understand about uh, shelf life <laughs> and yes. products. That are, are being made in, in excess to, to even understand. So I hope somebody who has that understanding can grasp that hey, term. Hey, well, the that. Script, hey, look, I like the fact that the, the, with the piece I'm looking at with the ones who made it in is, is wrapped up based on not Psalms 91, where it says, With long life will I satisfy him and yeah. show him my salvation says the lord right yeah. in other words yeah. now, once you make it in this world because if you died you know died in birth whatever you was aborted you know you really going from this physical realm straight into the spiritual realm with god yeah was it going to it who are who are aborted you know they, this, they, may, this may not agree with with a lot of folks you know, and they might find fault 
against me for saying this, but an uh, unborn child goes from spirit to spirit. Yes, sir. It does not have to tend with this physical realm and the uh, war that goes on in this physical realm. And, and uh, that, that child is in a spiritual state protected and it goes on to eternity because it does not have a chance <laughs> right. to be born in this physical realm. Hey, so <laughs> it, 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 it is not responsible for sin, so it's taken care of. So that child goes from a potential mortality yes, sir. To, immortality. To, uh, to mortality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> they, they, they did. Matter of fact, to the, to the degree they had a, they have moved on to something better, and even talk about the brothers that have lived this life. Paul said it. I, I'm in between. I, whether I need to stay here with you guys yeah. or go, you know, I, I really need. I really want to go, because <laughs> this ain't all that in the bag for chip. It's not. You know, come on, brother. It's not. You know, but the the you know I was thinking while you was talking that live in this world, and and I was thinking about that movie called Born Free, and you remember that song? So it was a nice song, Born Free, as free as the wind blow, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, when you look at those uh, videos dealing with Animal Kingdom, uh, it it's a challenge being in the and you know your your dog now is living a a sheltered life. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, it was, <laughs> I, I know it. But but that the animal that's out in the wilderness, their life is a constant fight for survival. If you're a predator, you're constantly trying to get a prey. And sometimes the prey gets you. <laughs> uh, or sometimes another predator gets you. Yeah. It, it, I was looking at a beautiful butterfly. I was I was thinking about it like a butterfly. You like the butterfly? They're beautiful, aren't they? They're, blue. <laughs> They're nice and beautiful, right? But we don't think about the fact that every time that butterfly takes flight, because I don't know, maybe you don't have that intellect in them, but they know that there's, there could be a bird <laughs> or a spider web <laughs> yeah. or the wind. <laughs> I don't think that's even in their, their, their existence. You see you what I'm know, saying? I, I don't think that, that. Now, I do know I saw something that, that blew me away. Uh-huh. Now, spiders you know, they spin that web out in the open. Yes, they do. <laughs> but they're not out in the open no. during certain times. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, because sir. Because them birds, them birds tight, tighten them up. <laughs> and it never came to mind until one day uh, there was a spider and I saw it kind of hiding in a web and I knocked it down with the water hose and it's been shot the spider out into the street. You know, okay. Get, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out. Ah, you're yucky. You're making the spider web. That uh, thing got to crawl across the street and a bird from way up in the, in the street. I'm way up. I mean, came down and snatched that spider up so quick and it blew away. I'm like, how did you see a black spider in a black street crawling from way up there? So <laughs> I was like, and them fighters, they really got it bad, to be honest with you. They, they got a challenge, don't they? <laughs> they have to spin that web to catch their prey. Yeah. You know, and they, and they got to spin it out there in in the vastness so that whatever flies by, you know, the bigger the web and the more out in the open it is, the more chances they get to eat. Exactly. So that, that was astonishing. Yeah, it doesn't want to be talking about the challenge of life, right? It's just challenge of life. Yeah. So I was also thinking about, you know, you got these predators, you just look at, at the lion. Mm -hmm. 
So the lion has to hunt down his food. It's yeah. yeah. It has to be agile enough. <laughs> right. And, and uh, have enough knowledge to actually get that prey. And the longer uh -huh. it goes without, the more desperate it is yeah. to, to, to eat. Because, I mean, uh, self-preservation, I have you, you, even a human, I get to the point to where it's, the human will do anything. Anything. Yeah. To, to, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of people don't understand that uh, robberies and, and stuff like that is from a lot of people are at the end of their rope. Yeah. To exist, and they're yeah. just trying to get food. So, yeah. you know, and and uh, and even drug addicts are just trying to get drugs. Mm. You know, and, and, and you say, well, they ain't stealing food. Well, they're they're addicted. Their food is what's more important to them than food is the drugs. Exactly. So they, they need money. They can't they can't come in with with some bread and get dope. Come on now. <laughs> so, um and I'm not giving them a pass for what they're doing. Neither of those that are are out there uh stealing just to to for substance. You right. know I know mothers who go out and steal diapers for their baby because they don't have the money to get it. You know, right, right. You want to jump all on them. Well, I look at the body of Christ. Well, where are you? Mm -hmm. That person needed. Come on, come on. Needed, those needed support for those diapers. Where were you when that person needed some food? You right. know, uh, don't look at them. You know, look at yourself. Come on. And Paul exactly. talks about that. You know, you, you, you try and, and hold these people to to a law mm. and, and you break the law yourself. Yourself. You break the law yourself. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and where is that love for your name? Exactly. As yourself. You feed right. yourself, you clothe yourself, you take care of your child. If you love yourself that much and yet you watch somebody else do without. Are you living according to the law or are you trying to hold someone else to a law and you failing yourself? So exactly. you always have to look at yourself in every right. situation. So, so you can't you can't judge nobody. That is not our responsibility to judge any human for anything on this world because we fall short of ourselves. So don't judge, yes, you be judged. Come on. Exactly. That and, is God, God's job. And I think that's that's and see part of I think part of the enemy use of the two judging of judging one another is to bring us into condemnation. You that, can't judge unless there's a law. Uh-huh. And, and the law doesn't bring doesn't bring good, <laughs> it exposes bad. It exposes that's the whole purpose of the law, right? And that's the purpose of the law. And so right. the enemy has been using the law ever since the law came to exist. Yeah. And then I think that I said, I said, don't say that, I was to say say that the, the weakness of the law is the flesh. Exactly. Exactly. And it, and I think the whole purpose of the law and the purpose of condemnation. The enemy wants to take your peace away. That's why you, you lose your peace, right? Mm -hmm. Under condemnation. And I was looking at this right here, I, you know, and we keep talking to different scriptures. What, what, what well, before I, while I'm breaking this one up, another thing is the enemy tries to get us to operate in doubt. When Peter was walking in the, we were talking about that knowledge of God, when Peter was walking on water, the reason he began to sink was because he took his eyes off of the knowledge that yeah, he heard from Christ. That had him walking on water. <laughs> and, and, and it was still powerful that when Christ, Jesus said, come, yeah. that joker was walking is only when he took his eyes off of that decision. He lost his peace when he looked at the wind. He lost his peace when he looked at the storm. The way you see, what I'm saying is, the enemy wants us to take ourselves 
out of the knowledge and therefore we lose our peace and we lose our peace now we fall right so i brought these up for you